Welcome back, Night Owls. This is Dr. Nighttime, and now we're going to be going through the derivation of the formula that relates annuity values to life insurance benefits. Uh, so, suppose that somebody has an annuity. Suppose, a uh, simple case, let's keep the number simple. Suppose that the annuity is that they pay $1 at the start of every year, fully discrete case and has an insurance benefit of uh, $1 face value at the end of the year of death. All right, so I suppose you die during some year. So, so we'll say you die sometime between time t and t plus 1. That just it determines the year in which you die. In that case, we don't have to look at any sort of mortalities or averages, right? We just need the uh, annuity value for a fixed number of years, specifically t plus 1 years, right? Because if you die, between time t and t plus 1, suppose t is 10, right? So if you die, say, 10 and a half years, you were still alive for the beginning of that 11th year, so you made 11 payments. So I'll say the premium payments were 1 plus nu plus nu squared all the way to nu to the t. This is uh, a double dot angle t plus 1. And if we want to see how big that was, well, we've used the same old sum of a geometric series formula, that, uh, uh, sum of a geometric series procedure that uh, we always use, where we just multiply both sides by nu, shift things over so that it lines up nicely. So instead of a 1, we have a nu, instead of a nu, we have a nu squared, yada, yada, yada. And then we just subtract one row from another. So almost everything cancels. We just have a 1 left over here, and this nu to the t plus 1 gets subtracted out here. This is equal to uh, a double dot angle t plus 1 times 1 minus nu, right? It's a double dot angle t plus 1 minus a double dot angle t plus 1 times nu. Uh, uh, combine the like terms or factor out the a double dot angle t plus 1. We get a double dot angle t plus 1 times 1 minus nu. And 1 minus nu... Sorry, 1 minus nu has a name, right? That's the discount rate. So we get a double dot angle t plus 1 times d. Uh, we can now take the expectation of both sides. So take the average across all possible x year olds. Uh, this nu to the t plus 1, the average of that is going to be ax, big AX. The average value of a double dot angle t plus 1 is going to be a double dot x. So we get 1 minus ax equals a double dot x times d. Divide both sides by d, and you get 1 minus ax over d equals a double dot x. Worth noting that if this is being compounded not annually, well, you just have to change the effective periodic interest rate, right? So your new won't actually mean new anymore. Uh, and you'll get that modified discount rate. Right? It would be uh, it'll be d to however or d compounded however frequently you need it to be. Uh, also, notice that this isn't just true as an average case, right? The underlying formula here is true for every individual policy. That the death benefit of that particular policy was equal or 1 minus the death benefit of that particular policy is always equal to the annuity, the value of the corresponding annuity, times d. And often when you have to do stuff like derive the formula for uh, variance of an insurance policy, you actually need to know that this is true in every individual case, for every individual policy, not just in the aggregate on average. All right, so pretty short derivation. Uh, hopefully you're familiar with this sort of, I always view it like line dancing. Everybody moves one over to match with a partner. Uh, but hopefully you're familiar with that, uh, with that derivation. Uh, if not, then review this a couple of times. Uh, and as always, if you like the way I explain things and want to arrange private lessons, click the link in the description. And until next time, this is Dr. Nighttime wishing you a good night.